Hello everyone. <laughs> Hi, how are we doing? Today I'm very excited to say that I've got a vegan kind supermarket order to share with you. I've just got it in the mail. Not sponsored, I bought all of this stuff on my own money, but Vegan Kind Supermarket, I knew about Vegan Kind because they do a subscription box, but they have an online supermarket, and obviously it's really hard to get on the online deliveries at the moment. So I thought I would make a little order of some vegan substitutes. So, this is what the box looks like. I actually got two boxes worth. I mentioned on my Instagram that I made an order, and some people said to do a little unboxing, so I'll what I'm gonna do. Also, just a little side note, they haven't used plastic sellotape, they've used paper sellotape. Isn't that nice? I think it's a good time to support 100% vegan business where you can. Ooh, oh, also no plastic with the filling. I think you're limited to orders of £100 because they're trying to make sure everybody can have a chance to buy vegan goodies, which is fine. Um, so I actually placed two different orders because well, it was just a tiny bit over, a teeny bit over and I didn't want to get rid of anything. So. Just to give you an idea, this was quite a spenny haul, but I got a lot of things that will last a long time as well, not things that are kind of perishable. So anyway, let's get straight on into it. I'm going to open this, I kind of ripped open the boxes, but I haven't delved in. And yeah, let's just go for it. <laughs> Ooh, I can't explain to you my excitement levels right now. I, I haven't even had vegan butter for weeks. It's an essential. Okay, so in no particular order. Oh, can I also say that this was packaged mainly with, I took some of the paper out, but it was mainly packaged with paper. There are a couple of plastic kind of films around things, but no plastic or styrene sort of chips, which is great. I love to see that. And also really quick delivery. I ordered this Sunday afternoon and it came Tuesday morning. I think you can get next day delivery if you don't order on a weekend. But anyway, the first thing I got, some crisps. These are the Luke's Organic Bio Protein Blue Corn and Red Lentil Multigrain Chips. They're they're crisps but yeah i got some vegan marshmallows i haven't tried these ones before but i have seen them in holland and barrett they're egg and dairy free gluten free gelatin free and they are the traditional pink and pink and white marshmallows excited for those i feel like i might make some s'mores or a kind of a twist on a s'more because i picked up one of the lazy day tiffins i love these i love these these are my favorite Mm, my favourite vegan treat. One of my favourite vegan treats at least. Basically if you haven't had a tiffin before, I suppose it's similar to Rocky Road but it's more, it's got a different texture, it's more like a biscuit. I wouldn't say a Rocky Road is a biscuit but this is, it's got a chocolate topping on top and then it's kind of a, you can't really see can you, but it's kind of a chocolatey, marshmallowy, biscuity base. So similar to a Rocky Road, it's got the same components but different it's better and these lazy day ones are suitable for celiacs and vegans i think they have soy in i picked up some pizza components i got the no added sugar okay no added sugar playful pizza dough mix it's like a chia and a flax dough mix and i want to make some pizza because i may have some other pizza free bits in here we'll have to wait and see i don't know where they're packaged in this pile when i was placing this order i was really in the mood for pizza so some of these things are quite pizza-y themed Ooh, i got the i've forgotten what i ordered i got the alpro plant-based baristas colombian coffee and oat it's like an oat drink a bit dusty a little bit dusty okay Alright. Oat is my favourite in coffee, so that's exciting. I got oh uh, this one was more <laughs> this one was more for the banter. I don't really like shortbread, so I'm gonna give this to my mum, but <laughs> have I mentioned I'm vegan? These are so cute. I love how they list loads of really small businesses as well. I thought it would be all the kind of like mainstream vegan brands, but they had they had a load on there. I got some gnocchi. This is the mm, I don't know what the brand is, I don't recognise this brand. Looks Italian, sounds Italian. Gnocchi di patate senza gluten. Oh, it's got quinoa in. Cool. I've made gnocchi before, but these are obviously egg free. I think it's quite easy to make gnocchi vegan though. You just don't do the egg wash at the end. Maybe just use olive oil at the end. I got <laughs> quite a lot of pasta and pizza stuff in here. I got the Mr. Organic, organic and egg free mushroom tortellini. I love tortellini. Oh, tortellini and soup. My nonna used to make the best. Oh best pasta and soup and like the tiny little pastas i'm excited to try this i was going to get the vegetable one but that one didn't have such great reviews which is what i love about what i really enjoyed about shopping on their website is that they have reviews and i find that really helpful even just ordering from like sainsbury's or whatever i find reading the reviews of food really helpful because obviously this stuff isn't cheap so you don't want to waste your money got some chai tea fascinating stuff some soy milk whoa a bit bashed up but all right It's like Christmas morning. 
Pesto. I was thinking pesto, gnocchi. I've tried some vegan pestos before and like they're okay. But they're missing, do you know what? A lot of the ones I've tried are missing that umami taste. Unami? Umami. <laughs> you know what I mean? That really savoury taste. I feel like maybe they need a little bit of miso paste or something. But this one is the Zest vegan basil pesto with cashew nuts. So I'm excited to try that. Regular pesto usually has cheese in, like parmesan cheese or other kind of animal ingredients. Oh, I didn't order these. Popped lotus seeds. Plant pops. Hello, cute. A little freebie. Won't say no. Next up, I got this hemp chocolate spread. This I'm very intrigued by. I really want to try it. I just want to dip my finger in it, but I need to wash my hands. Mm. I really want to try it because I don't think it has any sugar in it. I'm intrigued as to how good this is going to be, but it's got raw cacao in it. So I'll just read the ingredients. Are raw hemp seeds, sunflower seeds. Oh, it has got coconut sugar in it. I missed that. Coconut sugar, hemp seed oil, rapeseed oil, and raw cacao. I'm really getting into cacao. I find it's actually quite energizing as an ingredient. I made a mug cake the other day that was walnut and cacao. It was so good. If you don't know what cacao is, I think it's unprocessed cocoa. So like chocolate powder basically. Ooh, healthier choice. This is just pasta sauce. Sorry there's so much pasta content. It's quite boring. Mr. Organic as well, that one. I've never heard of this brand before. This is Organic Passion Fruit Trade. Fruit Aid. Fruit Aid. Fruit Aid. Fruit Aid. Fruit Aid. Like lemonade. Gotcha. So it's like lemonade, but it's passion fruit. Excited for that, actually. I keep knocking my elbow on that radiator. Also, I just realised this is protein milk. It's not just soy milk. So I think it's got extra added protein. 10 grams of protein per 200 ml. <gasps> Ketchup! Yes! I love this ketchup. This is so good. This is the Mr. Organic Italian Organic Ketchup. I'm a bit of a ketchup snob dare I say. Like, I don't like cheap ketchup. Even Heinz. I don't, I lo I'll eat it, but I, I love ketchup so much that I want... <laughs> just a little hair flick. I want the good stuff, do you know what I'm saying? And I like the really rich red ketchup. You know, like when you go to a fancy burger place and they have the fancy ketchup. That's, that's what I like. And this one is so good. I did also buy, I don't know if it'll be the next thing I unpack unpackage, but I got the same but sweetened naturally. So instead of having sugar in it, I think they sweeten it with like apple juice or something. Oh, this is an all time fave. You need to try this. If you like kombucha, you you simply must. 100% raw, organic, vegan, ethically sourced, blah, blah, blah. It's the Equinox organic kombucha, the raspberry and elderflower flavor. I mean, I love raspberry and I love elderflower, so it's, it's a bit of me, but um, it doesn't even taste really like kombucha. You know that strong, acidic taste? It doesn't really have that. That's expensive, it's a treat, but I like it. Oh, I got two of those. This is really starting to fill up now. Oh, this is the Veginess Space Bar. Just like a single sausage in a sachet. Okay, I don't remember this, but I think I think it had good reviews. I don't actually remember adding it to my cart. It's a pumpkin seed space bar with seitan. I think it's a bit like a pepperami, if anyone remembers pepperamis. The ingredients are seitan, pumpkin seeds, coconut fat, soy sauce, onion, yeast extract, salt, spices, and a bit of smoke. Interesting, okay. This is really cool. This is the fruish mango and orange smoothie, but it comes in a paper cup. Paper can. How cool is that? I need to put that in the fridge. Oh, this is the this is the other ketchup. Naturally sweetened Italian organic ketchup. Yeah, sweetened with apple juice and apple concentrate. I'm excited to try this. I feel like it's a, it's a little bit less red. God, I'm such a ketchup nerd. Does anyone else love ketchup? It's just nothing tastes as good without it. Apart from, you know, roast dinners, pasta. If you if you eat pasta and ketchup, I do question your sanity because that is that's a step too far, my friend. Okay, so the cool stuff all came with these ice packs, which are nicely melting. Okay, cool. Mmm, this one smells fragrant. Okay, so I got two things of butter. I got oh it's dripping. <laughs> Lovely. I got turkey style roast. I don't remember getting this brand. I remember getting some turkey. But I thought it was a different brand. I think it had good reviews though. It's quite unappealing looking. But I think this one had good reviews. If I put the right one in my basket, I think it had good reviews. So that's that. What's it made out of actually? Wheat, oil, fat, soya. <laughs> I got two lots of the This Isn't Chicken. I've tried their goujons before. These are delicious. This is a slightly new brand. They also do these tikka pieces, chicken tikka, which I'm really excited about. I was really impressed by these. I fried them with a little bit of oil, a bit of garlic sriracha, and they tasted great. So that's those. God, I'm going to be eating good. I don't know where to put these. 
running out of space. I got some vegan A's. I love this mayonnaise. If you haven't tried vegan mayonnaise before, honestly, it's one of the easiest switches because it just, it tastes exactly the same. And this brand is amazing. It's called Follow Your Heart. Um, I haven't tried this one before. This is their garlic, oh wait, maybe it's not mayonnaise, garlic aioli. I think it's going to be like garlic mayo, which I'm very excited for, but the one with the blue cap is really good as well. It's just, it tastes just like regular mayo. It's, there's not a lot of taste difference at all, so where to put and then I got some tofu I love this is my favorite brand of tofu ever if you haven't tried this one I've only seen it in Waitrose and online so it might they might sell it out of the supermarkets but it's honestly the best it's called Thai fun I think that's what it's called Thai fun Thai food but they do this basil one quite salty this one but I really like it like chopped up in salad or in a sandwich it's really good and this one is amazing the almond and sesame seed smoked tofu it's so good if you've tried tofu before you've tried it in a restaurant and you think oh yeah that's really nice but then you try it yourself and you try to make it at home and it's just not the same it has like a really squishy mushy texture highly recommend picking up these ones because they have more of they're kind of marinated already like they already have flavor in them and they're so good they have a bit of texture to them as well they're not super spongy so that's those and then the last kind of meaty thing i got were these bonsan absolutely vegan organic kofu grill sausages with fermented tofu interesting i have actually tried something from this brand before that i got in whole foods and i didn't like it i think it was like a seitan steak and it was a similar thing like with fermented kombucha tofu but these, this had pretty good reviews, I like that it comes packaged in cardboard and I love kombucha so I'm, yeah, I just wanted to experiment and try something new. So that's that one. And then the last few things I've got in here are cheese related, vegan cheese. So I got cream cheese, this is the cheese, vegan with chives, which I'm very excited about. I feel like on a bagel or something, I'm hoping this is good. I've tried the, um, actually I've tried quite a few of these, I like the Nush one, the almond milk one i like the sainsbury's just their free from one it's mainly coconut oil to be honest <laughs> coconut oil and coconut fat but that's all right it's okay and then this one is the main reason why i placed this haul in the first place i saw in sophia and chinsia's vlog that chinsia made an order <laughs> an order i think she made two orders and um she bought this and she said it was amazing this is the mozzarella they use on the vegan zizi's pizzas i know i know and it's soy free, lactose free, gluten free, what the hell is it made from? <laughs> um, rice, water, oh it's made from rice, sprouted brown rice, apple cider vinegar, cold pressed coconut oil, very excited. You see what I mean when I say pizza ingredients? This is the creme de la creme that's going to go on top of the pizza. And then last but not least, oh no I've got another box, another box but it's a lot smaller don't you worry. Um, last but not least I picked up this, I think it's a, like a cheese wheel. And I've heard about this brand for a long time and I've always wanted to try their stuff but I just never got around to it. It's the Tyne Cheese with an A, uh, artisan cultured and aged cashew nut cheese with chives. And this is, they're quite expensive, I think this is about seven, seven or eight pounds, but it's the fancy cheese that you'd spread on a cracker. I love how in one of my recent videos I was like, I'm not really a cheese person <laughs> because I'm not really a cheese person. but. I like to see what the vegan world has to offer when it comes to cheese and I really like that artisan raw cheese so maybe maybe I do like cheese or cheesy like products so very excited for that and I think that's everything in this box this one is a lot smaller this one has more beauty products in well actually it has one packet of gnocchi and then beauty products but this is the Mr Organic Italian Organic Gnocchi and then I got some fabric softener this one had great reviews it is tallow free and I didn't even know fabric softener could have tallow in it I'm, I'm a bad vegan obviously but um, this is the EcoZone happiness fabric conditioner the review said it smelled amazing so let's give it a whiff mmm almost like pineapple-y but citrusy pineapple-y this is very nice. I'm excited to use this. You know you're getting old when you're excited to use a fabric conditioner. I got two of these yogurts. These are great yogurts. If you want to try a vegan yog, highly recommend these. They're the Greek style high protein single yogurt. So it's kind of like plain yogurt and then at the bottom it's got kind of like Muller corners, you know, when you mix in the jam with the yog. And I got raspberry and strawberry and mango. I got another shampoo bar. I've tried the shea butter one from this range this is the faith in nature dragon fruit shampoo bar i wonder what color it is oh okay so it's just a clear not clear it's, it's not clear <laughs> it's a milky kind of white shade 
this is the same as what the other one looked like. Mmm, smells really good. I'm excited about that because I really liked the other one. I found it was really nourishing, but I ran out of it quickly because I used it so often. And then last but not least, I picked up a lip gloss. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Pacifica Enlightened Gloss in the shade Opal. I used to love this one. It smells like Play-Doh, if I remember correctly. It smells like Play-Doh. It's got kind of iridescent sheen to it, but it's sort of a peachy nude shade. Mmm, it's like chocolate and Play-Doh mixed together. I got a lip balm. This is the Crazy Rumours French Vanilla Lip Balm with Shea Butter. Should really be washing my hands first, but I'm not actually touching the product, so I think it should be fine. I feel like they've changed the formula of these. I used to recommend these so much, and I still think they're really good. But I feel like they're not as nourishing as they used to be. I don't know if they've changed the formula. And then last but not least... Oh, that was such a pathetic... <laughs> It's too far away. Last but not least, I picked up this all night long foundation stick by Barry M. I hope this is the right shade because I've just been really getting into cream makeup recently. I did a video on my hay fever appropriate makeup, and um, which is up on my channel if you're interested in watching it. Shameless little plug there. But I found I find that cream products, even though they, they feel nice and light on the skin and they just keep your skin nice and fresh and dewy, they seem to work better with other cream products. So using a cream blush on top of a powder or on top of a liquid foundation once it's set down, it doesn't give quite the same effect as if you were to use a cream product. I mean, I have been using a tinted moisturizer, but I wanted to try something with a bit more coverage. And this one had good reviews. I think that's a pretty good colour match. What do you think? Maybe a little bit too pink, but who knows? I don't know why I'm going close to the camera like that, but potentially, uh, potentially a tiny bit too pink, but it's all right. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. And that is it. That is the last product in my mega haul. I really hope you enjoyed this little sit down unboxing. If you did, maybe give this video a thumbs up if you fancy. And maybe I'll do a what I eat in a day, another one, because I know you guys like those. I know you do. But I, I just, the, my problem is I don't think to do them until after I've had breakfast and then I'm like, oh darn it, I can't really do it because that won't be on what I eat in a day because I've already had breakfast. Maybe I'll show me making pizza or something in another video sometime soon. But yes, thanks for spending a good 10 minutes unboxing with me and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye.